Long scrolling pages have been the trend for quite some time now and they are a great way to keep visitors engaged and spending more time on your website. But what about when you want your visitors to be able to skip the scroll and be taken straight to the specific section of the page that you want them to go to with just one click? This is where jump to or anchor links come in and I'm going to take you through step by step how to set those up in this video. So let's quickly look at an example of what it is that we're creating. So I'm here on my mock design business website, which is really just a template I grabbed from the Squarespace 7.1 template shop. I've already designed my long scrolling work page where I'll showcase all my portfolio categories for a visitor to be able to scroll through and see samples of what I offer. Now, say I want a way for visitors to skip straight to their preferred category on the page. So in this case, I might create a little faux secondary navigation at the top on this page using a simple text block and then link each category to its section. These links are what we'll be creating in today's video. And I'll also show you how to create a smooth scrolling effect when jumping to your section, since on its own, it's a bit abrupt. So the first thing we need to do is go in and name each of our sections on the page we want to create a link for. To do this, we just scroll down to where the section starts and add in a code block to that section. Depending on the layout of your content, you may actually need to add your code block to the section above to get the page jump to land in just the right spot. You'll be able to move your code block once it's been added, so just start by adding it at the top of the section you want to jump to. So you'll copy and paste this little snippet of code into your code block, changing the section name to whatever you want. I'll call mine commercial. By the way, all the copy and paste code snippets you'll need for today's tutorial can be found at the link in the description. Oh, and don't worry, your code block will not be visible to your visitors. But even if you aren't loving the extra space created by adding a new block to your section, then try dragging and dropping your code block beside something else in your section so it's not on its own row. Do this for every section of your page you want to be able to link to. Okay, on to step two. So if I want to link my text in my phone navigation up here to my section, I would just highlight and make the text a link as usual. But instead of putting in some sort of URL, I'm actually just going to put in a hashtag followed by the name of my section. So I'll just stick in hashtag commercial. If the section I'm linking to is on the same page as my link or button, you'll want to make it so that the link is not opening in a new browser. But what if you need to use your jump to link externally, say on social media? You'll first have to put your domain followed by the page's URL slug, then the hashtag and name. So if I was trying to link to my commercial work section from somewhere off my website, my link would need to look something like this, mybusiness.com forward slash work hashtag commercial. That's it. You may need to refresh the page, but now when clicked, your link should lead straight to its matching section. But again, the jumping effect isn't exactly smooth. So for our third and final step, we have to go in and add a bit of CSS to tell those links how to behave. So for step three, we actually have to head under our design panel and open our custom CSS editor. Then all you're gonna do is copy and paste in this bit of code. You'll find that in the link in the description and voila. Hit save, refresh the page, use this arrow in the top right corner to preview in full page mode. Check out that smooth scrolling action. There are endless ways you can use this hack once you know how to do it, so get creative. There you have it, all the steps you need to be able to link to a single section on a page. Ease of navigation is definitely a top priority when it comes to the design decisions and features that you include on your website but there are a handful of other common mistakes I see DIY site builders and even some experienced Squarespace designers making on the daily that could be costing you and your clients sales. If you're ready to learn the site building best practices that you need to be consistently converting visitors into actual paying clients or customers, then be sure to check out my free training, Build a Site That Sells 101. You can find the link to that in the description below and get instant access to the 60 minute in-depth on-demand training. If you found this video helpful, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button and also subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you'll be notified when I drop new fabulous Squarespace content every single week. Looking for something to watch next? Check out these videos too.